Scooter, uh, thanks very much. Looks great. And this is a high definition uh, ET video downlink being. Uh, Houston, uh, are you seeing um, the files that we put in the uh, machine for downlink? That's affirmative. We do see those files. Thank you. Okay, then we're getting you the ET uh, photos and video. Uh, that's good news. Thanks. And Houston, I'll ask for us to see. Go ahead, Ray J. Okay, we all know that uh, Photo TV is the hardest job up there, so great work. And this is a replay of a video shot on board Atlantis earlier this afternoon of the external tank uh, after separation. This video uh, shot through the uh, flight deck windows, the aft flight deck. You're seeing uh, this video uh, currently in standard definition. Go ahead, Ray J. I rechecked my connections. I got a good encoder data, um, frame data, and power, but no fill frame. It, the fill frame is flashing occasionally. Okay, Ray J, thanks. We are seeing a good SSB now. Okay, Dex, I recycled that uh, the video cable that may have been in. Good news, Ray J, thank you. video as you are seeing it on NASA TV currently is standard definition. This video is being downlinked in high definition. It's converted for broadcast on the NASA TV SD channel. The uh, HD video as it was shot on orbit is being downlinked in high definition to uh, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, which is good news for the uh, prospect of receiving high-definition video from Atlantis throughout the remainder of the mission. Atlantis Houston uh, for Scooter, just a reminder about the maneuver here in about uh, 30 seconds. And you sent Landis, let us know you've seen enough of the ET, and uh, we might slam another HD tape in. Okay, Scooter, uh, thanks. And uh, actually, right this second, we'd like you to start the maneuver for the inertial attitude I called up earlier. Yeah, I knew there was something else I needed to be doing. It's in work. Thanks.
this downlink of the high definition video uh, today is a test of the shuttle's HD television system and from the uh, quality of the video to the eye uh, the system seems to be working uh, quite well imagery of the external tank is also a part of the uh, multi-part uh, system of uh, data that is examined post-launch in order to determine whether or not there's a likelihood of any uh, damage done to a shuttle orbiter on ascent. In this case, they're looking at the external tank to see if there's any evidence of uh, missing foam, foam which might have uh, liberated and uh, at an unfortunate uh, time in the launch sequence and uh, therefore might have a, be a, an impact onto uh, the shuttle itself. Early reports from uh, the Kennedy Space Center and a quick look at all of the uh, video gathered from the several vantage points there uh, indicates no sign for any such concern. All of that imagery along with this, the uh, crew cabin survey which was conducted earlier this afternoon, and the uh, orbiter boom sensor system inspection of Atlantis's uh, thermal protection system which takes place uh, tomorrow. Uh, will all be uh, thoroughly reviewed by specialists to determine whether or not there's uh, Atlantis sustained any damage on its climb to orbit. Go ahead. Yeah, it looks like we're ready for the item 19 if you concur.